Hey guys, this is the second episode on the Volvo 940 2JZ build. Last time I took the engine out and today I got some great news for you guys. The 2JZ is here and I freaking love it. I ordered the engine of JDM Distro and it literally took them less than one week from Ireland to the Netherlands. This engine is as complete as they get. I got the entire subframe, got the AC compressor, got power steering, all the accessories with the automatic gearbox. Later on, when I saved up some money, I will do a single turbo conversion and a manual conversion. But for now, this is absolutely fine. I got the steering rack, so I can probably sell it. The subframe, maybe I can sell it. And overall, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see at the size, it's just as wide as the forklift. So it's a big ass engine and this will fit perfectly in the engine bay. And like I said last time, I am going to clean the strut towers and a little bit more of the engine bay. This is how it looked before and this is after. A lot better. For the engine, I ordered a lot of service parts. A new timing belt, new water pump, new cam seals, new front main seal, new rear main seal, new oil, new oil filter, new valve stem seals, and I believe that's it. So the engine will be completely fresh once it's done. Like 99% of this, we don't need anymore. And on this side, there are also a few things which you don't need. So also this side needs to be loosened. And once these are off and this thing is off and a lot of other small parts, which we don't need anymore, which belong to the other engine, which laying there, can go out of the car. I'm one hour in and I already took out a bunch of wiring. Why I'm taking out wiring instead of the entire wiring loom? Well, the first thing of course, since it's a pain in the ass, the wiring on the Volvo. And secondly, I don't know if the Volvo ECU has some functions for like the AC and stuff like that. And in the future, I want the AC to work and other stuff. All the other wires, yeah, I'm just gonna cut them, going to tape them and they should be fine because they aren't going to do anything anymore. The 2JC ECU, I've seen that the loom is quite short. So I think I'll mount the ECU inside the engine bay. On the red Volvo, there is an extra ECU for the LPG, liquid petroleum gas, and it's mounted directly to the ABS. I believe they made a bracket for it and it's mounted to it. So I think I'll be doing that and then making sure that there won't be getting any water in there. I'm just cutting away all the unnecessary wires from the old engine. I want the Volvo to be up and running as soon as possible, hopefully within one and a half weeks. I know <laughs> it's a really, really tight deadline, but, but I'm hoping it's going to work. And then I think we can take off a lot of parts from the 2JZ engine and hopefully test fit it because everything is going pretty fast right now. And yeah, like I said, a bunch of wires. You need to take off the complete oil filter assembly to get a hold of the last bolt and then install the new engine mount. Finally, I got it out. <laughs> I removed the wastegate actuator and then it was still difficult but a little bit more easy to get by. So now I can install the KLC racing mount and drop the engine in.
Both the engine mounts are installed. The anti-roll bar is loosened as you can see. So there's a little bit of slack. And this should clear the oil sump. Also the exhaust is gone. So now it's time to see if the engine will fit like this or if I need to do some modifications to either the cross member or the engine itself. Almost there. But since this is a front sump engine and the mounts are designed for a rear sump, it's hitting the front sump here. So we're going to take out the engine again, then cut the front sump and re-weld it. Because as you can see, the mounts are almost on the point where they should be. So it's really, yeah, one or two centimeters. Yeah. So we're going to cut it off just in front of the oil pickup and then re-weld it and if necessary we're going to take the oil pickup off and rotate it that way it's pointing a lot more towards the front of the engine but this will probably be fine because we can take off quite a lot like this much The front sump is cut a little bit and then welded. We only tack welded it on. As you can see, this is completely flat now. And this is only tack welded on there. That way, if it doesn't fit now, we can take it off really easy, just grinding a few welds off. So now we are again going to put in the 2JZ. <laughs> this is like the fifth or sixth time, but we're almost there. And let's see if the 2JZ fits. And this is what a Volvo 940 with a 2JZ engine looks like. The sump is perfect because the holes line up and on the other side the exact same thing. So let me show you how it looks underneath the car. As you can see there is two or three centimeters play. So that's more than enough for the engine to move a little bit. So we can leave the pickup tube like it is and now weld everything. That way it doesn't leak. It is midnight, the sump is welded shut, so it shouldn't be leaking right now. And I'm really happy, this is a lot of progress for day number two, which I'm working on the car. The engine fits, the sump also is good. This is really going to be a fast 2JZ swap. And yes, I hate procrastinating on project cars. I want them to be done as soon as possible and enjoy them. I really like working on them, but I like driving them even more. So guys, I hope you like this awesome project just as much as I do. If you do, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment below, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more 2JZ content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.